Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fall Guys X Fortnite is now live and you guys can claim a free skin. Now, it's kind of strange because the free skin is not what we originally expected a Fall Guys collaboration to be. However, we have for you guys this in the back of the video. Despite not being fully announced via a blog post, the Fall Guys Crown Clash event is live and the rewards are slowly being granted in all three games, Fall Guys, Rocket League, and Fortnite. As a reminder, the challenges are only in Fall Guys and require you to play 100 rounds of Fall Guys, which is absolutely insane. So yes guys, here is the free rewards in the back of the video. One for 10 rounds, 20 rounds, 40 rounds, 70 rounds, and 100 rounds to get the Major Pancake skin, which absolutely does not make sense at all whatsoever when it comes to a Fortnite collaboration between Fall Guys and Fortnite. You would think it would be a Bean Back Bling or a Bean skin very similar to the actual Among Us collaboration. So a lot of people today are not happy to see that, as this collaboration had so much potential. We have this concept from Pine that would look absolutely fantastic as a skin or a back bling. We have another concept in the back of the video, and even Halo got better cosmetics than we did inside of Fortnite. Now, apparently this might not be the only collaboration we are getting when it comes to Fortnite X Fall Guys. As Fire Monkey on his personal account said, I feel like we'll be getting another Fall Guys X Fortnite collab in the future. Since this event didn't even use the Trials website, and they had been working on it for a long time, and we had leaks before this of Fortnite themed cosmetics in Fall Guys. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff missing, but that could not be the end of the collaboration as there's still stuff now in the works. Now I think the best one I've seen so far, as far as you know what's coming soon or possibly coming soon, the next collaboration, is actually this in the back video. So Gudo uh, actually made this incredible concept that says Fall Guys Expectations vs X Fortnite Reality. So yeah, there is so much potential when it comes to a collaboration. So hopefully at some point we get some new variants or new skins that are actually themed around actual Fall Guys cosmetics. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, the only way to actually claim these free rewards is to play 100 rounds of a brand new trial. So you have to play the Fall Guys game and then simply click on the brand new trials. And that is completely it. It's as simple as that. And uh, yeah, so upon actually doing that, eventually you will get the free rewards. But apparently, according to a lot of people, they are very, very buggy and are taking several hours to even get the rewards. So yeah, that is quite unfortunate news right there. Uh, in other news though, we have for you guys an update as far as the agency, well, not returning. Don't forget, Epic is very thrifty and they have reused assets often. Just because someone sees a name in the files does not mean the entire point of interest is now returning. Agency Midas Rug does not mean the agency is returning. It's just a rug in a logjam. Don't fall for the clickbait, folks. Now, originally, two pretty respectable leakers posted this, so I kind of went with them and I thought that it might be coming soon, but it turns out it's probably not coming soon so sorry about that you know i tried to go based on respectable leakers but sometimes people mess up and especially leakers can definitely mess up we are all humans so unfortunately the agency is probably not returning but there's always that possibility now what is returning is over near sleepy sound when the reality blooms reach sleepy sound there will be four different styles that the point of address can cycle through frontier coliseum coral and neo the temple might update first, but has not yet confirmed for July 5th update. So those look actually pretty dang awesome. And we also have for you guys, there will be four different point of interest that Kondo Canyon will rotate to once the reality tree's roots reach that far. Frontier, Coliseum, Coral, and Lazy Lagoon. So kind of the same thing, but a different point of interest. We also have for you guys, Imagine Having a Great Summer, introducing the Summer Fun Imagined. So we're still kind of waiting on the actual summer update, which apparently will happen at some point at the end of July or in the middle of July, when Epic Games takes their vacation that will last about two weeks. So uh, I, honestly, I don't really know what to expect, but I would assume that we'll be seeing these types of skins, you know, the actual Battle Pass skins as summer themed skins. And alongside that, Maybe we'll be seeing the foundation as a new edit style that has a summer themed skin. So absolutely fantastic looking. Want to share that in today's video as it just looks so, so cool. 
We also have for you guys an upcoming map change. There's an unreleased point of interest code the tower that is set to be in the place of temple between Rocky Reels and the Joneses. And Epic just announced that the next update is July 5th. The temple will change soon. It's marked as a point of interest and the name might be Temple Bloom instead of the tower pointed out by Zathio. So I guess the tower is a code name for one of the point of interest including in it if it changes like Butter Barn and Log Jam. So this season is actually surprisingly full of tons of map changes and it reminds me of Season X. So definitely happy to see that at any time. Uh, we also have for you guys the July crew pack. So here's that in the back of the video. And last but not least, the Camping Rusher, my competition, but of course a friendly competition, just got engaged. So feel free to wish him a happy engagement and congrats to him. So that's absolutely fantastic and what a great thing to see today. So uh, that's all we have for you guys for today's video. Unfortunately speaking, I really wish there was more content to cover, but there just simply is not. Yesterday's update kind of just added this collaboration and a few other min minuscule things. So hopefully we'll be seeing a pretty big update next Tuesday. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. I know